Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB sale haul. So if you don't know right now, Sephora is having their VIB sale, which means if you are a beauty insider, you get either 20 or 15% off. It's a pretty big deal here in the makeup community. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So if you recall from my Sephora VIB recommendations video, I said I wasn't going to go crazy this time because I went really crazy last time. I did not go super crazy this time, but I'm actually really happy with the amount that I bought. I'm also going to feature a few other makeup products that you can purchase at Sephora. I didn't, but I'll explain that at the end of the video. So anyways, let me show you what I actually got for the sale. So the first thing that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I did play with some of the items in this haul so at least I get to tell you my opinion on some of the products so beautiful typical Fenty packaging and I wore this today and I really like how it made my skin feel it made my skin feel a little bit moisturized but also like slippery I don't know it was really good I liked the feeling obviously I'm going to have to play with this more but I do have more dry skin so I was very excited to see Fenty come out with a hydrating primer and you know Fenty is very trendy here on YouTube so I do like to get familiar with the products that they put out so I did pick this up even though I certainly did not need it. Of course I had to pick up the Pro Filter foundation as well. I will be doing a wear test. I have to do a wear test on this foundation and the ABH so I will be filming one tomorrow. So yes Fenty really 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 needed to create a hydrating foundation so I'm so happy that they finally did it. It took them forever if you ask me. I've heard nothing but good things about this so far so my expectations are high. I got mine in the shade 230. That's the shade that I am in the other foundation that they have so hopefully this is a match. I mean it looks like my skin to me so I'm super excited to play with this. Continuing on with the face, I did pick up a concealer to try. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I just got one of the mini ones. I love when they have mini sizes available because I have so much makeup, I don't need to be buying full size products. So it's always nice when I can get a mini size for a little bit cheaper. So I got mine in the shade 20N, which is a light neutral color. I don't know, it's looking kind of really white. This looks really white. Uh, I don't know. I don't like concealers that are too brightening. But my friend here, Tara Lynn, she loves this concealer. So I did want to give it a go. I heard it's very moisturizing under the eyes. And I always love a good moisturizing concealer. So super excited to try this. Ooh, it feels very, very thick. I also picked up a face mist. I've just been wanting it for so long that I had to pick it up. It's one of those items where I just would always pick it up, put it in my basket, take it out. I don't need this. And then finally, I was like, just get it. So I got the Forsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. And this is like the most gorgeous thing in the world. I put this on my face every time I go into the store. It is an orange cream sickle dream. I don't necessarily know that it does anything for my skin, but it's pretty to look at. It has a nice mist and it smells super amazing. So this is actually the first Farsali product that I've ever purchased. And yeah, I cannot wait to use this and then update you guys on my thoughts on it. Even though it is an older product, very excited about it. It also picked up two highlighting items. So the first one is a recommendation from my friend Alicia. She put this in her recommendations video and she also put it in like I believe it was her top five highlighter video. So I've been eyeing this so I immediately picked it up once it was 20% off. So thank you Alicia. Her channel is Kinky Sweats. Definitely check her out. She's so funny. But she recommended this Givenchy Shimmer Powder in the shade Shimmery Gold. And first of all, look at this. That is so beautiful. I did use it today and I felt super guilty because I didn't want to mess up the embossment. But do you see how pretty this looks on my skin. This particular color is going to work well on a lot of different skin tones. Not if you're too fair, but if you are light to medium, it works really well. And just do you see how pretty that is? It blended really nice into the skin. So thank you, Alicia, for recommending this because it is absolutely super happy I picked this up. The other highlighting product that I picked up is the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighter. I know it's very surprising that I don't own this. I do not know why I never picked this up, but it just was something that I skipped out on, and I think it was because 
I was a little bit turned off by like this pink highlighter. I thought it, you know, I don't really need any iridescent highlighters of weird colors. Uh, so I just didn't think it was something that I would use. But you know, I am such a Pat McGrath fan and I base a lot of my videos here on my channel about Pat McGrath. So I can't be a phony. Like I have to own this. I have not yet used it. So I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts on this. I'm going to get better about doing update videos. I promise. I've heard good things about it. So I'm very very excited to now have this in my collection. I've been eyeing it for a while. I've said next VIB sale I was gonna pick this up, so I surely did. The next thing I picked up is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've been playing around with their new complexion products. I missed this on its initial release. Uh, it just didn't look like something that I needed, and they now have it in a mini size. I believe it was $13 before the 20% off. I can get it out. But this is the eye primer from ABH. And I just thought that this looked like it would be really good for more colorful eye looks. So I did want to pick that up. Just wasn't something that I felt like I needed something like a big full size tube in. So when I saw this, this was a perfect way for me to try out the formula. Just have a little bit because I don't need a lot of it. Yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Educate myself about the product so I can share it with you guys without having to waste my money. It's a win-win situation. The other thing that I picked up also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Had to try it out. Again, just to stay informed about the makeup world. <laughs> um, this is the liquid eyeliner. Have not yet used it. Let's take a look at it now. I saw it looked pretty matte, so I was really excited about it. I'm always on the lookout for a good liquid eyeliner. I go in and out of phases with my preferences for liner. Lately, I've not been on an eyeliner kick, but maybe this will kick it back in. This is what the wand looks like. Ooh, very black. I don't know that I love that wand, but I'll have to play around with it. You never know. I like the old purple packaging. I'm feeling that. So Anastasia is releasing way too much lately. They need to slow their roll down. By the way, I know I'm like fully beat and I'm wearing like a sports shirt. This is my life now. <laughs> eyeliner. Yes, that was great. Really excited about that. Ooh, this is looking really matte and black. I will keep you guys updated on this. The last thing that I ordered this day for the Sephora VIB sale is a new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad. I've been working on building my collection on these. I don't know. One day it just hit me that I really like these. For the longest time, I mean, I'm not going to lie, they're not really worth their money. You get a tiny amount of product uh, for a pretty high price, so the value of them isn't good. But I love Charlotte Tilbury and I do like her eyeshadows and again, I like to stay very educated about makeup brands for my channel so I really have been wanting this one. This is the Golden Goddess. Pretty neutral colors, very cool toned. Super excited about this. Let me do a swatch for you guys. Ooh, these feel really good. I've been hunting this one down because it was sold out at my Nordstrom for a while. Exaggerize was sold out and I'm really sad because I do want to pick that up. I believe it's her most popular, but really pretty wearable colors. So I'm excited to play with that. Um, and that's all I got from the Sephora VIB sale. I do have some other items that I wanted to share with you just to share them with you while I'm at it. So I have a lot of Vizzy Art palettes that I picked up. I didn't pick these up from Sephora. I actually picked these up from Muse Beauty Pro, but these are available on Sephora, I believe. So I figured I would share them with you guys. This was while they were having their really good deal on Vizzy Art palettes. So I picked up a lot that I've been wanting lately. Um, you guys know how much I love Vizzy Art palettes. I got them for a really good deal. So this first one is lo and behold the neutral mattes and i used it today so so good unsurprisingly these are my tones i love these types of tones when it comes to my crease colors and building up that definition so i'm really really excited to be adding this to my collection this is perfect for my kit as well. Probably won't be adding it to my kit right away because I want some time to love on it. But yeah, it worked beautifully today. That's all of my crease colors blended and it just worked really great. I also picked up Paris Nudes, which is just a bunch of neutral shimmery colors in different tones. I did use this color on my lid today, but that's the only color I have from here. And the reason why I bought this was just for a selection of neutral shimmery lid colors for my brides. When I do bridal makeup, I just feel like 
like I tend to grab for colors like these a ton so having it all in one palette in this quality would be great for me and I mean this is a gorgeous palette. The next one that I got, I know I'm ridiculous, is the Viseart, obviously. This is the Bridal Satin. I think of the ones I got, this one might be my favorite or the one I'm most excited about. I haven't really put these on my eyes yet to be able to tell. But this one's a lot more fun, as you can see, and you can create a really cool look like this. You have some purples to play with. You have some champagnes, peachy, golds. It's a very interesting selection of colors. This is called Bridal Satin. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I, I don't think, based on the clients that I normally get, that brides don't really play with these colors that much. All, all in all, it's a really pretty palette. I'm very excited to play with that one. This one's pretty up there with the favorites, too. This is Sultry Muse. And by the way, yes, I will be doing a rankings video. I just keep adding Busy Art palettes to my collection. So then it pushes it back because I want to play with them and make sure I really have a good feel for the palette. So, but this is Sultry Muse. And I think this one is going to be a lot of your guys' favorite. It's just beautiful, a lot of different shades and tone, different depths, which is really nice. You can really create a lot of different looks with this one. I swatched it. It is beautiful. I will say a lot of the colors here, like they're not all necessary because they are very similar colors in each of the palettes, but I'm a busy art collector, so I'm very happy with this one. So super pretty. Very excited to have updated my collection a little bit more. Oh, hold on. Let me grab something that you guys might want to see. <sighs> Okay, so I did pick this up a few weeks ago, and you guys know I have it because I put it in a poll asking if you guys wanted me to review it. It came in last, but I'm still going to show it to you. This is the Alcone palette with Viseart, so this is their collaboration, and look how pretty it is. I got this when I went to the makeup show in DC a few weeks back. It was at the Alcone stand, and I, I couldn't stand it. I had to pick it up. It's just a beautifully laid out palette, so I'm not even sure if these are repetitive colors or if they are new colors but I really couldn't think to put together a palette like this and I like to support the brand and I really like Alcone too so this is a really gorgeous palette so five Vizier palettes in one video okay I'm crazy last item to talk about with you guys that I picked up this I picked up a few few weeks back when I went to look for the Exaggerai Charlotte Tilbury palette, but we do have another Charlotte Tilbury quad that I added, and this is the Uptown Girl, and normally I wouldn't think that I would go for a color scheme like this, but in particular, these two colors kind of sold it for me. She did a tutorial on her Instagram using this palette, and that is why I did what I did, and I'm very, very happy I picked this up. I've been loving it, you guys. I've worn this a few times already and not a color story that I'd normally go for, but it's so pretty. This color right here in particular, so this one's much more warm, this one's much more cool when you put them together. Loving these two, so I do need to play with them more, but I'm very excited to be expanding my collection a little bit more when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury. But um, yeah, that is all I have for my Sephora VIB sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you picked up from the sale. A lot of you guys already told me on Instagram. I loved reading through them, so if you bought anything else, let me know. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!